Okay, uh, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do a um, comparison of um, two um, pairs of shoes. Both of them are German army trainers, but they're from uh, different designers. Um, the this ones um, they're about four years old, uh, and these are brand new. I got them uh, in 2021 in the first week of um, February. So just wanted to go over the um, the, the differences. Um, these are made by uh, Epaulette and these are uh, Beckett Simenon. These are called uh, Morgan Trainers and these are called Ghost Horse Ride, no, Ghost horse hide um, sports trainers. So um, it's horse hide because they're made out of horse instead of cow, and these are cow hide, and that's mainly the 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 biggest uh, reason why I wanted to do this um, uh, this video. Um, like I said earlier, these shoes are four years old, and they never had any any type of special treatment um, and and they held up pretty good um, and I think it has to do with the uh, quality of the leather and the thickness of the leather um, it's, it's it really is thicker than than this um, um, than these uh, Morgan trainers and um, and so I hope that this one's hold up as well as 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 my old ones um, <clears throat> okay so another uh, of the biggest differences is that um, that I noticed is that this has extra room in the front um, it seems like the toe box it has like a little bit of extra uh, room at the uh, tip of the shoe and these ones are uh, better rounded which I like better. This look um, kind of weird, awkward. This ones look more proportional. I really like this the style of the Beckett Simenon. The silhouette is uh, really nice, and everything looks proportional. Whereas on this ones, it just seems like the uh, like this has a little bit too much. That's my only one of my um, biggest. Um, uh, concerns so other than that well we already said this is cowhide um, cowhide with suede and natural uh, gum sole this is a uh, horse hide with um, no suede everything's horse hide with um, also natural gum sole um, let me see what else they're both um, the paneling is a little bit different. They both look very similar to the um, to the original. Um, they have limited branding. Uh, Beckett Simonon actually doesn't have any branding except for the the insole. But other than that, they they managed to keep their name off of the um, the outside. Um, Epaulette, um, they do put their name, their brand on the, um, tongue, but other than that, it's very subtle, so you really can't really see it anyways. So, um, as far as, uh, any more differences, I think that's about it. They both have the same print, footprint. On the bottom, and um, let's see what the, let let's talk about the inside. Because honestly, I think whenever whenever we buy um, specialty shoes or uh, designer shoes. This is what distinguishes them 
from from anything else that you get at the mall. The um, the quality of work that they put in the inside is I think is what makes the whole difference. Is what makes you uh, feel like you're buying um, quality shoes, and it kind of justifies the the price. Even though this these shoes were not exaggeratedly, they were not overpriced. Uh, you can tell this is um, uh, Beckett Simonen. Let's look at this. These are not the original uh, laces for the epaulets. Um, I think they came with like a lighter brown, and then they got dirty. And so we changed them. difference in the tongue this is fatter I think they put some kind of cushion inside but even if they hadn't the leather is definitely thicker uh, that's one of the uh, biggest differences this is the um, epaulette so in comparison Are, it's kind of hard to tell because they uh, they're thicker in like on this side of the um, shoe, but when it comes to the edge, they they manage to merge both leathers um, into like a narrow piece. Okay, so the tongue has this loop. This one doesn't have a loop. Um, the quality this has a little bit of suede in the back which I guess it keeps your shoe inside on no, your foot um, the insoles this one I actually wore this already for five hours um, and I can tell that it already has the, the print on my foot which is uh, really nice because uh, your shoe kind of starts feeling like a glove I was actually surprised that it was already marked. These ones are four years old and they, um, they've also kept up in decent um, um, condition. And these this shoes haven't had any special treatment. If anything, we just wipe them with, um, with a wet cloth to remove some of the dirt. But um, no conditioner or anything um, for a shoe, a white shoe to keep this uh, look for f for four, almost five years. I think it's very surprising. And I think it's, um, it's telling of the uh, toughness of the, um, of the leather. Which I don't think it might not, it might not even be that much. Um, I can't get that in focus. Anyway, so the stitching doesn't go. Um, there's not much to see on the inside, except for like the li a nice uh, lining in the suede. This is four years old. Keep that in mind. These are like practically new. The stitching comes across from the outside to the inside. That's about it. Um, I think um, 
This, however, um, Epaulette stopped uh, making these shoes. If you go to their website, I think they only sell clothes now, which is very unfortunate because they did make a, a, a very nice uh, shoe, um, excellent quality. But the only thing I don't like is the extra room and the uh, toe box. But other than that, it's uh, it's it's kept. I actually got my money's worth after five years of use. This is an excellent um, shoe. I can't complain. So I can only hope that the Beckett Simenon um, holds up as well, and um, and I'll be happy. Um, that's about it. That's all I have to say about that. I hope you liked the review. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. They actually stopped making them. So if you want to um, bug them and ask them to bring it back, uh, horse hide, GATs, excellent purchase, I think. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Um, hope you liked this video. Like and subscribe. I will be adding more reviews in the future. Uh, thank you for watching.